Alrighty, so before we get into the vlog here for the day, I talk about how I'm continuing the vlog from like two days before, but when I went to edit it last night, it would have been a 30 minute vlog if I had done that, so I decided to split it up as it was meant to be, so there's a couple times where I think I mentioned that it's like a two day vlog, and it is not, but check out my last vlog if you want to see what was going to be the beginning. Ah! <laughs> Let's get into it. Hello and good morning! I know I said I was going to end the vlog, but when I was looking at the footage there was only like four clips, so I was like, I'll just continue. It is um, two days after, so it's Monday today. That footage was from Saturday. Ah. <laughs> Basically, I worked all day yesterday and then I just, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling like myself. I just didn't feel like doing anything. <laughs> I managed to do a little bit, but oh no it was weird i was struggling my voice is because i just woke up so today being monday is the first day that i'm going in at two instead of eight so i slept in it's 20 after 10 now i woke up like 8 30 i was like no <laughs> so i got up at 10 but i had some weird dreams about like going to i think it was mexico with my aunt and my cousins and like all that side of the extended family it was like this really weird house it was giant there was like a swimming pool on the roof one of those like really cool ones where you pressed a button and like the deck sunk and then it became a pool but it was also like a really it looked like this town wherever we were had been like bombed or standing forever it was just falling down so it's just it was a really weird dream but i got a lot of sleep which was nice because it's definitely necessary i did wake up a lot during the night though so that's not cool but yeah i don't know yesterday i was just not feeling like myself at all no matter what i did i was like okay maybe i'll work on x and i was like uh i was like maybe i'll watch a movie i was like uh <laughs> Maybe I'll work on my Harry Potter fan fiction, and I think I wrote like one sentence, and I was like, oh. So there was just, no matter what I want to do, there is nothing, no matter what I suggested to myself to do, there's nothing I want to do. So that's where we're at. Hopefully today will be a better day. I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself some food now. It's my mommy's birthday, so I got her a card yesterday, and we hung a birthday sign for her. I'm lying, we hung a birthday sign for her. <laughs> boyfriend in January and then just never bothered to take it down because we're like March is coming so anyways um we still have our Christmas decorations up too not all of them but some of them so we're just straight up lazy people when it comes to undecorating it's all good but yeah I'm gonna go now and I am going to feed myself and then hopefully I'll wake up because I'm still pretty sleepy and like become a real person. <laughs> I have a pretty substantial list for today that I want to make make happen. It's um it's long but it's not a lot if that makes sense. Like make my bed is one tidy my room and honestly my room's still really clean because I did it yesterday. So you know that fun stuff. Alright. I feel like I've been rambling because I'm like just waking up, so I will check in with you later. Alrighty, so I'm just getting ready to go to work now. It's 25 after 12. I decided to put on makeup because, I don't know, <laughs> it's something soothing to do. So it is a beautiful sunny day outside. So we're going to be rocking some sunglasses today. And um, hopefully it's not going to be too hectic of a day at work. I don't know. There's so much uncertainty right now. I just don't know. But I wrote the first blog post that I've written in probably like a week and a half. I'm trying to get back into a routine and see if that helps with things. I don't know. But that's where we're at. And um, I've just been re-watching Olympus Has Fallen because it was such a good movie. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go now. I think I'll bring the camera because I think later on I'll be by myself in the theater so I can vlog so let's do that and let's get out of the house for a little bit. Wow what um, a day it has been. It is the end of my shift now I'm just doing my timesheet uh, so I'm going to be half distracted here but I got to work at 1 and I came in I was scheduled to come in at 2 but I want to come in a little bit earlier just to kind of see what the heck was going on and um, 
while I was here, I found out that there's now a provincial ban on any gatherings larger than 50 people. Um, my brain is not working. Can you help me math? Five hours and 15 minutes. I just, okay, ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> so anyways, so I find out about that and then that's not right. <laughs> You know, like, trying to multitask and do military time is not a thing that I can do easily. Alright, so, that is done now, so you can have my full attention. So, if I know about that, then my boss goes, the city nearby us, they've shut down all their, like, rec centers and pools and all that kind of stuff. And so, effectively, that's ending all their summer, or not summer, but spring camp programs. Which, I mean... We have a spring camp program. That's the only reason that like there's people here right now um, But we're not open to the public. So at that point it was just waiting to see <laughs> when that would happen for our city and it did very shortly after that so Everything is closed in the city like rec centers and pools and I'm assuming gyms and all that stuff but we're in an interesting situation because we are a city-owned facility, but we are not a city-run theater. There's a society that runs this theater. So basically, um, they had a powwow with all the parents and said, listen, this is the situation. We are not breaking any laws because with all the kids and the mentors and anybody else who might be in the building, we're still at like 33 people in the building. So we're under the 50 person limit and basically it's up to you if you want these are the steps we're taking to sanitize the theater and clean the theater and by the way it smells like a swimming pool in here so much bleach <laughs> it's great to breathe into i'm sure but anyways they're like these are the steps we're taking it is your prerogative whether you want to have your kids be here or not so i guess tomorrow we'll find out if people are still good or if they don't because like that's the thing it's the spring break so like they obviously one probably their kids went to theater camp but also like they need child care so anyways that's the situation currently tomorrow there is an emergency board meeting happening which will hopefully give us some more um, whatchamacallit, darkness, uh, which will hopefully give us some more insight onto what we're looking at, like short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals <laughs> for all the staff going forward. So that is where we're at. The lighting is terrible in here. I've turned off all the lights because I have them on and, um, oh, my arms hurt. And then, yeah, I guess at that point we'll just see what happens and then Wednesday we are having a emergency staff meeting via Microsoft Teams remotely obviously so well I mean as many people as can be remotely I think I'm going to be here because I think I have to work that day at this point I have to work that day ah, so we'll see that's my current update and um, I'm just gonna get my stuff put together here because I can get out of here now and then I'm gonna go home and I'm going to shower and then self-isolate until tomorrow when I have to come to work again. Wow, I cannot believe that I have not vlogged since I got home. I definitely thought I did after I got out of the shower. So I got home and I showered and I felt so great. And I know it maybe seemed like from the last clip that I was like, oh, I need to go home shower and quarantine. No, it was just, I really need to shower and I'm going home and then I'm not leaving the house. It wasn't like I'm covered in germs. Anyways, it is now about 20 after 10. <laughs> That's late. <laughs> and I basically got home, I showered, I got into very comfy clothes. I cooked myself dinner because my mom and her boyfriend went out for dinner for her birthday because um, they were supposed to go see an event, but it got canceled. And then I came up. I've picked a new Netflix show to watch. It's um, Designated Survivor. I'm enjoying it so far. I think I'm only like five or six episodes in. So that's kind of what I'm doing to try to take my mind off how the world is burning. And um and I was like, mm, I need to be an adult and I need to do my invoicing because it has been a while. It's, I didn't even do it last week at all. I think the last time I did it was like last Saturday. So like not two days ago, but like <laughs> two days plus seven. 
nine. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's been kind of slow. It looks like it's starting to get busier. And I just emailed my boss. I was like, this is what I've done. And I was like, but I'm going to try to get back to doing it twice a week because we're getting busier. So that's what it's going to require. I'm like, but I am in a state of flux right now with the theater and I don't really know what's going on. <sighs> yeah, I'm like, I feel like I've got a lot of anxiety going on right now. This is great. And it's not even like there's one thing that I can go, oh, this is why I have anxiety. It is just like, it's just there. I'm not consciously thinking of anything. Like I can be watching Designate Survivor, which I'm enjoying and I can just, I can feel it. So that's awesome. I love that for us. Anyways, my hair is looking pretty nice. I've been using the um, Lush condition, pressed conditioner, and I like it way better than the conditioner bar. Um, it smells really good. I need to get a haircut, but that's, that's off the books for a while. Anyway, I'm just chilling. I'm going to probably watch another episode of Designate Survivor. I don't know, like, my schedule is so far off. I need to figure out when I'm going in tomorrow. Probably not too, probably, like, noon. I don't know. Everything's just thrown off this week. I'll be excited once the summer camp is over. <laughs> Assuming I still have a job. I mean, I guess if I don't have a job, it'll be exciting, too, because then I can just, like, do anything. I don't know. I need routine. That is the thing that makes me most sane in life is when I have routine and I do not have a routine right now and it's that's part of the thing that is causing me so much stress. But tomorrow, you know, see here's the thing, I was gonna say tomorrow I'm gonna try not to think about any of the world burning and all that stuff, but honestly tomorrow is when the emergency board, room, board meeting is happening and then the next day is when the emergency staff meeting is happening, so like at least for the next couple days this is just gonna be forefront. <sighs> we'll be okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go for now. I'm gonna try to do something that does not stress me out. We'll see if we can figure it out. Maybe try to tame this hair that cannot be tamed. Wow, there's so much of it. I always forget how much hair I have until I realize how much hair I have. <laughs> Anyways, I I wrote, I, I got a postcard. It's Rapunzel from Tangled, I'm gonna send it to um, the little girl out in Blind Channel because I sent a card to her brother for his birthday, which was this weekend, and then I sent a postcard to Strudel's mom, and I was like, oh, I can't believe I didn't send one to her, so I'm gonna send that to her tomorrow, and yeah. Anyways, I'm just rambling now for no reason, but hey, I like sending postcards and stuff. <sighs> I need to pick up some more stamps because I think I'm just going to do a lot of writing in, in self-isolation. So that's where we're at. Anyways, I'm going to go hopefully continue to function for a little bit longer, figure out when I'm going to go into work tomorrow, which I think is going to be noon, and then kind of go from there. <laughs> Alrighty, update time. It is midnight. Well, I was gonna say one minute too, but it just changed. And to help me deal with the terrible anxiety and ah, we got ice cream. So I'm just gonna eat this giant bowl of ice cream. I'm going to continue to watch Designated Survivor. I can tell that the, everything's really messing with me because there was a scene where this girl went into a bar and there's like people in the streets and stuff. And I was like, why is everybody out? Cause that's a show not real life which is weird to think that real life would be the quarantine thing or the social distancing or whatnot I was talking to a friend yesterday and I was like it's like we're living in a in a B list movie and we're the people that aren't the heroes so like <laughs> you're just like going about your daily business as best you can and you're not saving the world so anyway I'm gonna go now. It has been two days of vlog and I'm just tired. I'm just tired. The one thing about having anxiety constantly is it just makes you exhausted all the time. At least for me. I know that mental health affects everybody differently even if it's the same thing. So anyways, I'm just so tired all the time currently. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this giant bowl of ice cream which is probably like double the size of what I actually need need like I'm not even hungry I just really wanted ice cream and um then I'm going to get in my pajamas I'm gonna climb into bed and I hope I 
have good dreams and I hope I sleep well because I have not been sleeping well lately and um, then we'll see how tomorrow goes. I don't know when I'll vlog next so I will say goodbye and good night and see you then.